Hello, today I'm going to demonstrate how you can use Google Analytics 4 to view the impact of a particular page on your conversion rates. Um, so uh, here's how we do it. We are going to create a blank exploration and we're gonna import the dimensions purchase, purchase revenue and sessions. Uh, we're only gonna use purchases and sessions here, uh, but this will give you an idea of you know what you can do right um cool so purchases and sessions gives us our conversion rate then what we have to do is create a segment to see how a particular page impacts the conversion rate the way we do that is you're going to create a segment here by clicking the plus button i've already created them so i'm just going to view it right and in here this is a user level segment Right. Um, so I've created a user level segment. There's three types of segments. There's user session and event. We're creating a user level segment because what we want to know is what the impact of this returns page. So we have a returns and exchange pages for this store. We want to see how that impacts our conversion rate, i.e. we want to see for people who view the returns and exchanges page. How does that impact the conversion rate uh, of the site? OK. Cool, so the, the segment we're gonna create here is very simple. We're going to do page location contains returns and exchanges. Uh, that's it, so this is our, uh, our page, uh, our returns and exchanges page, uh, information page is returns and exchanges. So we wanna say for the viewed return policy segment, we wanna include users who viewed this page. That's what that's saying, okay. Cool. Uh, then we want to create another segment uh, that's just the inverse. So what we do there is, again, a user level segment and we want to exclude um, we want to exclude from this segment users whose page location contains. So anybody who at any point viewed the returns in exchange, we want to exclude them from this segment. That's what that's saying. And if we do that here, uh, we can see that there's actually some interesting results. Cool. So first we can see here that here is the did not view return policy conversion rate. Of course, there's a lot more users in that session uh, in that um, in that uh, in that segment. Um, so in that case, uh, we see here that the session level conversion rate, it's about one and a half percent. Over here in the viewed return policy, um, it's actually higher. It's more like three percent, right? Um, it's like two and a half, three percent, right? Um, so uh, that's interesting. People who view the return policy are more likely to buy, right? Uh, that's an insight that we might take and say our return policy actually is working pretty well. You might think the opposite. You might think that people who viewed the return policy are less likely to buy because you have an unsatisfactory return policy or something like that. Of course, you can do all kinds of other analysis here using these segments. Um, this is just a simple video, um, but uh, this demonstrates how you can create segments uh, to uh, see the impact of particular pages like a viewed return policy uh, or maybe a size guide or things like that. If there's a particular page, you want to see the impact uh, of that page on your conversion rates or your other e-commerce metrics. Here's how you would do that uh, in Google Analytics 4. Hope you find this useful. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel if you want more tips like this. Uh, and thanks for watching.